Hello everyone! Nursing theories provide the foundation for nursing practice and are essential to the care of patients. And one nursing theory that helps patients prevent illnesses through their behavior and choices is what we call the health promotion model, created by the nursing theorist Nola Pender. But first, we will be showing you a glimpse of our journey towards success. Nola Pender is a nursing theorist who developed the health promotion model in 1982. She is also an author and a professor emeritus of nursing at the University of Michigan. She is also named as a living legend of the American Academy of Nursing. In her early life, she was born on August 16, 1941 in Michigan. Her first encounter with the nursing profession was when she was 7 years old. This situation led her to the desire to care for other people, and her goal was to help people care for themselves. Moving to her education, in 1965, she received her master's degree in human growth and development and moved to Northwestern University in Illinois to obtain a PhD in psychology in 1969. Then, she finished community health nursing at Rush University. During her career, in 1962, she began working on a medical surgical unit and pediatric unit. She also directed many studies of her health promotion model, which indicates preventative health measures and nurses' critical function in helping patients prevent illness with self-care and bold alternatives. Now, let us now discuss the theory of the health promotion model. NOLA's G. Pender model focuses on three areas. One, individual characteristic and experiences. Number two, behavior specific cognition and affects. Three, behavioral outcomes. Positive health is not only the absence of disease, but a holistic state of well-being. The health promotion model, promotion of health lifestyle, with the result of improving one's quality of life. The theory made up of five key sections. These include person, environment, health, illness, and nursing. This model shows the many ways a person interacts with their environment in relation to their health. The health promotion model is applied in nursing education to help nurses promote healthy lifestyle through holistic approach it is used to stop illness before it happens and focus on the wellness instead of simply the absence of disease this model is used in research to determine whether outside influences impact individual behavior and whether intervention programs improve health a clinical example of this model is assessing a patient's readiness to learn before education. Once the patient shows this readiness, education will begin on healthy behavior and why this behavior are important to implement. An example would be a person diagnosed with pre-diabetes. The nurse would educate on healthy foods, portion control, and exercise. The major focus on the health promotion model is the assessment of the multiple dimension of the individual versus include the individual characteristic and personal experience. Second, they take a look at the behavior specific cognition in effect such as the perceived self-efficacy and perceived benefits of action. This also includes interpersonal and situational influences and commitment to action. Lastly, health promotion model assists behavioral outcome which is the health promotion behavior. In the end, the greater the personal commitment to health, the more likely for the health behavior will be maintained. Meta Paradigm Person. Nola Pender defined person as a biophysical organism. Environment, for her, it refers to the socio-cultural and physical context of the patient. Nursing, for her, 
nurses act as collaborator with the individual and community. Health, health is the actualization of human potential to maintain structural integrity and harmony with the environment. Major concepts of the health promotional model. First, Health promotion, it is the behavior motivated by the desire to increase well-being and actualize human health potential. It is an approach to wellness. Second, health protection. Behavior motivated desire to actively avoid illness, detect early or maintain functioning within illness constraints. There are three key focus areas. First is the individual characteristics and experiences. Second is the behavior-specific cognition and affect. And third is the behavioral outcome. Individual characteristics and experiences such as prior related behavior and the personal factors. Second, the behavior-specific cognitions and affect. Perceived benefits of action perceived barriers to action, perceived self-efficacy, activity-related affect, interpersonal influences, and situational influences. Last is the behavioral outcomes, which are the commitment to a plan of action, immediate competing demands and preferences, and health-promoting behavior. Subconcepts of the health promotion model. First, individual characteristics and experiences. Under this one, we have the prior related behavior, which refers to the frequency of the same or similar behavior in the past. Example, previous visit to the dentist. Another one is the personal factors. Predictive of a given behavior and shape by the nature of the target behavior being considered. Under the personal factors, there are Personal biological factors like age, gender, body mass index, pubertal status, aerobic capacity, strength, agility, or balance. Example, elderly doesn't have strength to exercise. Another one, personal psychological factors, the self-esteem, self-motivation, personal competence, perceived health status, definition of health. Example, Woman believes eating low carbs will help her lose weight. Personal sociocultural factors, race, ethnicity, acculturation, education, socioeconomic status. Example, poor cannot afford variety of food choices to promote health. Another subconcept of the health promotion model is the behavior specific cognitions and affect. Under this one is the perceived benefits of actions that anticipated positive outcomes that will occur from health behavior. Example, woman exercising to have peach body for summer. Other one is the perceived barriers to action that anticipated, imagined, or real blocks and personal cause of understanding a given behavior. Example, Pregnant woman does not visit center as it is far from home. Next, perceived self-efficacy is the judgment of personal capability to organize and execute a health-promoting behavior. Perceived self-efficacy influences perceived barrier to action, so higher efficacy results and lowered perception of barriers to the behavior performance. Example, Pregnant woman highly values her baby, thus visit health center despite being far from home. The last one is the activity-related effect. Subjective positive or negative feeding, feeling occurs before, during, and following behavior based on the stimulus properties of the behavior itself. Activity-related affect influences perceived self-efficacy, which means the more positive the subject feelings, the greater its efficacy. In turn, increased feelings of efficacy can generate a further positive affect. Example, woman felt good about herself after working out in the gym. Another sub-concept is the interpersonal influences. 
cognition concerning behaviors, belief, or attitudes of others, and it includes norms or expectation of significant others, social support and modeling, families, peers, and healthcare providers. Example, mother goes Zumba with her friends. The other one is the situational influences. It is the personal perceptions and cognition of any given situation or context can facilitate or impede behavior. Include perceptions of options available, demand characteristics and aesthetic features of the environment in which given health promoting is proposed to take place. For example, the scorched heat environment makes it difficult for a person to exercise. Another subconcept of the health promotion model is the behavioral outcome. Under a behavioral outcome is the commitment to plan of action. It is the concept of intention and identification of a planned strategy leads to the implementation of health behavior. Other one is the immediate competing demands and preferences. Under of this one is we have the competing demands, alternative behaviors over which individuals have low control because of environmental contingencies such as working out or family care responsibilities. Other one is the competing preferences which alternative behaviors over which individuals exert relatively high control such as choices of ice or apple or a snack. Last con subconcept of the health promotion model is the health promoting behavior which is an endpoint or action outcome directed toward attaining positive health outcomes such as optimal well-being personal fulfillment and productive living. Mary Monroe is a 68-year-old Caucasian female who arrived to the emergency room with severe shortness of breath, bilateral lower extremity edema, poor endurance, and lethargy. Patient states her dyspnea is worse upon lying down and upon exertion. She states that she must sleep in the recliner because she is unable to breathe while in bed. The patient's two daughters are at the bedside who are very involved in her care and fear their mom's non-compliance to medication and diet is going to cost her life. Patient is obese follows a sedentary lifestyle, eats foods mainly high in fat, fried, and carbohydrates. Admitting diagnosis, fluid overload, congested heart failure exacerbation. Past medical history includes the following. Hypertension, diabetes mellitus, coronary artery disease, congested heart failure, and peripheral ventricle disease. Surgical history includes the following. Two cardiac stent placement in 2015, appendectomy in 1998, and left knee arthroplasty in 2006. Height is 5 meters and 2 inches. Weight is 265 pounds. Full code allergies is penicillin. Patient's vital signs are as follows. Blood pressure is 175 over 96. Heart rate is 98. And respiratory rate is 24. Model application and nursing process. The HPM complements the pre-implementation stages of the nursing process more often. Nurses can diagnose the community more accurately based on its specific needs and barriers when considering the individual's prior actions and behaviors. After the community assessment and diagnosis takes place, community nurses must dissect the important factors that may impede the community's success with the proposed changes. Nurses understanding the community's potential barriers and motivation towards positive changes so health can produce promising outcomes and a more accurate plan, permitting increased success in the implementation stage of the nursing process, following will less inaccuracies 
in the evaluation stage. Acceptance of the nursing community The health promotion model provides a useful framework that explains and predicts specific health behaviors. This theory has successfully provided important guides for nursing professionals as they focus on health promotion strategies for patients and for research aim at prediction of health promoting behaviors health promotion model significantly implemented health promotion and disease prevention in the field of education basically it provides learning experiences on health topics moreover it presents information to the target population on particular health topics including the health benefits or threats they face and provide tools to build capacity and support behavior change in the appropriate settings the concept of health promotion model applied disease prevention which is essential to our nursing practice thus it serves as a tool for nurses to plan behavioral modification intervention in order to assist in the improvement and prevention of unhealthy behaviors. One of the role of nurses is to have patients in care for themselves. Nurses also help patients to make healthy choices. I am Rhoda T. Tata and I am Ethel Perlis and we are the nursing tourists for today. Nola Pender is a nursing theorist who developed health promotion model that help patients prevent illness through their behavior and choices. The purpose of the model is to assist nurses in understanding factors that affect health promoting behavior. The health promotion model knows that each person has unique characteristics and experience that affect subsequent actions. There are set variables for behavior specific health. This variable can be modified to your nursing action. Health promoting behaviors should result in improved health enhanced functional ability and better quality of life. By participating in their own self care and diseases and help in charge, they have better overall health. And here is the health promotion model. Good morning, ma'am. I am Nurse Pearl, and I will be the one who will assist you today. Good morning, nurse. I am worried about my position. What should I do? Don't worry, ma'am. I will give you some recommendations on how you deal your diabetes. Follow diet, so they design for diabetes and kidney disease management. Eat a variety of high-quality proteins. Starches, fruit and vegetable as well as eat a food that is high of sodium. So you have to eat less fat, avoid deeply sugar such as jelly, honey, sugar, syrup, jam, cookies, candy and cake. So mom, you have to maintain a wealthy health weight and exercise regularly. Okay mom? Yes nurse, thank you. In this scene, the nurse was able to state recommendations to have a healthy lifestyle by means of health promotion for diabetes. The patient was able to participate and make healthy choices. Hello ma'am, I am Nurse Pearl. How are you today ma'am? Hello nurse, I cannot breathe normally and now I was thinking to quit smoking since I don't want to suffer asthma anymore. Good thing to hear ma'am, so I will give you some guidance that will help you prevent from smoking. So first, you have to avoid smoking. You have to engage yourself to regular exercise, so also you have to go out for a walk, drink a lot of water, 
relax with deep breathing and use candy as a substitute for smoke. Thank you, guys. I will follow what you stated. In this scene, the patient was diagnosed with asthma because of smoking. The nurse should be able to create healthy and supportive environment. Hello, ma'am. I am Nurse Pearl. How are you feeling today, ma'am? I am good, thank you. But I am still thinking about my problem right now. And I'm, I'm still stressing at because drink, drinking too much does not help me. What will I do? So I will give you some recommendations to avoid drinking alcohol. First, have a regular checkups. Do not smoke or avoid secondhand smoke. Prevent yourself from drinking alcohol. Reduce fats and increase fiber in diet. Sleep regularly at least 7 to 8 hours per night. Maintain any ideal body weight and follow a nutritious diet. Thank you for that nurse. In this scene, the patient was diagnosed with alcoholic steohepatitis. The nurse was able to make changes that could use risk of developing the chronic disease. Nurse plays an important role of promotion. According to Nola Pender, nursing is a helping profession that empowers patients towards health contribution, self-evaluation, and self-efficiency.